Here we see a fish inside the fish operated vehicle uh, and with this vehicle the fish gets to navigate on land, uh, a place where fish usually don't go uh, and it gets to solve a navigational task uh, while at the same time it learns both how to operate this vehicle and also it learns what their task is and uh, how to solve it the most efficient way. So what is special about our study is that actually it's the first indication that uh, um, fish can actually uh, drive a vehicle. Surprisingly, it doesn't take the fish a long time to learn how to drive the vehicle. Uh, they're very confused at first, they don't know what's going on, but they're very quick to realize that there's a correlation between their movement and the movement of the machine that they're in. So it's something that they learn quite quickly. There were uh, very good fish that were doing excellent and there were uh, mediocre fish that were uh, showed controlling of the vehicle but were less proficient in driving. In a sense, so we humans uh, think of ourselves as very special. And uh, we think, uh, many people think about fish as primitive in, in, sense of, uh, the, in sense of evolution. But this is not correct. There are other uh, very uh, uh, important and, and very smart creatures. We call it global climate change, and it is. But it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm. Climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth. Almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think really we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love. <laughs>